a little heavier than I like, but it's the bulk and I can work with this. At the end of the day, I'm still quite lean, just a little bit heavier, maybe it's just water weight. One thing I will say about scale weight is don't let it define your life. Just use it as guidance. A lot of people stand on these scales and allow it to dictate what they can and can't do throughout the rest of the day. At the end of the day, for me, it's just a guidance. It's either water weight or muscle mass. It's about looking in the mirror and realizing what you look like and enjoying what you see. So these are just for guidance, not your life's narrator. Hey guys, Brian James here. I hope you are staying safe, staying humble, and staying true to yourselves. I'm finally doing one, a day in the life of me, basically. I've already done a few bits, such as walking the dog and my cardio for the day. I am now gonna do my morning routine and then I will get back with you and talk to you downstairs. I found out recently that it's actually important to do that for a male. I used to just scrub my face with a bit of soap and went, yeah, that's good, but turns out that's not. Morning routine done, downstairs, as you can see, massive nerd. But uh, first thing I would do after doing all the, you know, the treatments to my face, showering, getting ready, would be to have a litre of water. Always start off the day with a litre of water. It gets the body going. And to be fair, like I've always found it, I don't know if it's true or it's just me with the placebo, but I found like it wakes me up as well. Like it gets me going. Plus if you've got like a high, litre intake for the day for example me i have to drink six liters a day according to the coach it gets one litre knocked off straight away so it's only five for the rest of the day so it's not like i'm trying to drown myself by 10 o'clock in the evening the rest of the day normally i would be going to work but i'm off today so i'm going to put stuff in place of that so it's a bit more entertaining for you guys and you enjoy it it is a lovely day Sun is shining, which means I'm getting out and doing stuff. I'm not going to sit around the house doing stuff because that is just boring. But if you love the video, please like it. If you are enjoying my content, but you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and all the people involved so far, I love you all. And thank you so much for your support. But for the rest of the day, uh, George has planned a few things. We're hopefully going to go out and get a coffee and, you know, I'll show you what I normally get. And I will stay strict today. I won't have any off-plan meals. I won't have any cheeky stuff because I want to keep you guys, you know, to the truth and show you what I actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. Didn't realize how, uh, what the time was actually. Um, so yeah, eating meal one. And then I'm currently prepping meal two because we'll be out and about and I don't want to have to try and compromise for that meal. I'd rather just take it with me and eat it on the, on the way. Like I say, failure to prepare, prepare to fail. But when it comes to meal prepping, there's different ways of seeing it. You can bulk prep, which is like on a Sunday, do it from Monday to Friday, or do what I do, which is I always basically cook two meals or one meal a day in advance. Reason for that is because I don't want to take away the intimacy of cooking with my wife in the evenings. I want to make sure that we keep doing that. If not, it'd just be me going in, getting some tubware, throwing the microwave, eating, and she's got to cook and wait. And that's not what I want. So it's all about balance. You've got to decide how you want to prep, but by prepping and planning ahead, you can prevent a piss poor performance. We're off for a family coffee morning. Toffee, stop yawning. You meant to be up and about. But no, we're now off to a beach cafe. We'll see how it goes. Food, camera, the bank, aka my wallet. Come on, eh? Let's go get you in the car. Car's open, isn't it? Gentle. No. In my water bottle in your mum's crutches. Go, 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 go. Go on, you got it. Just realised how tight that actually is. I do apologise. But well done. We're going to Alford. Alford for some coffee. Of course, we we'll do have coffee at work, but. Um, you know, this can be the makeshift having a coffee in the day. Try not to have too much, but when you're on the cut, I was having about three or four cups a day, so it would be ridiculous. But uh, yeah, 
pay through today. Uh, George is doing the recording for the, just a split second due to driving, but we will probably resume back when I'm there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, I can't stop playing about the uh, coffee with a view. This is amazing. What do you want, Toff? I would say this is a bit of a better replacement than going to work. Not gonna lie, this coffee looks good. And the view is amazing. And uh, lovely weather, isn't it? But yeah, this is just a stop off. We'll do a bit of a walk with the dog and then uh, we'll go back and it'll be uh, pool day in the gym. Let's get it. Coffee complete. Now let's go for a walk as a little family. Sadly, you won't see me on the camera due to not having a videographer. So I will be behind the camera whilst recording the fan plan. Stay hydrated, kids. Yeah, I realised I forgot my water bottle, so I had to go and buy one to tie me over for the walk about and I'll have food in a bit. Sorry about the hair, hair is horrendous, but I will take a side note on this. This walk has been quite nice to take a minute and just think, relax, be a bit therapeutic. You know, you can just enjoy the day and enjoy life. So I say to people on here, you know, apart from my like really bad hair day, um, yeah, just enjoy every day as it comes. You know, try and get yourselves out of your mind and really focus on the bettering yourselves and just in general, don't worry about the shit. End of the day, you can't do anything about it, don't worry about it. If you can do something about it, be the narrator and take action, sort it out. But yeah, always look after yourselves. It's key number one advice. Health, fitness, mentality, always look after it. Well, the wife had a different idea than going home. We've now found something cool, the North Sea Observatory. Toffee Bean wants to go to bed, but more steps. Yeah, it was time to eat, so decided. It was time to get out the old meal prep and sit by the coast. So yeah, now home from the walk, the beach, coffee, and of course, Toffee hit the water and the sand a lot. So when I give him a bath, that's not really normal part of the day of life, but it's something I do. Yeah, welcome to the office. This is me pretty much, I've had about half an hour rest after we got back from the walk, from the beach and the coffee and that. Phenomenal place. Um, definitely be going back there again for a bit of a five miler, a bit more of a, uh, until fitness um, walk and that and just kind of, you know, be tranquil, I guess, that's the best way of saying it. But yeah, right now I'm gonna do some uh, more research for you guys, uh, clean up my actual office, make it, maybe change it around, do a new few things. But um, yeah, I'm not really doing else to, uh, I go to the gym later on, which will be in a couple of hours. So yeah, now I'm getting ready for the gym. And so I could have my pre-workout food, which will be 30 grams of protein, a cereal bar. Normally I'd have squares bars, but I've run out. So it'll be cereal bar, and then I'll have a bagel with some jam, and I'll go through that. And then I'll make my intra-workout drink, which will be two scoops of creatine and then two scoops of EAAs. But I also will be doing a supplement video later on. So yeah. Put the bagel in. So we've got my bagels, protein shake, cereal bar, which will count for two um, Kellogg's Rice Krispie bars. But uh, yeah, I'll eat this, give it 10, 15 minutes, get in the car, go to the gym, and conduct the pool workout. At the gym now, let's go and smash pool, see how it goes.
have my post-workout meal in about 10-15 minutes I'll have my second from last and then I'll have my last meal in about two hours time which is just before bed Apologies for a loud bang, but this is now me eating my second from last meal and I'm going to sit and chill and eat this. Uh, most likely for the rest of the evening it'll be just sitting by the TV relaxing. It's been a busy day of course this morning, go to the beach and go for the get the steps in, gym, cardio this morning and also the extra walk. So I want to say thank you guys for you know staying with me for the whole video. Please make sure to stay safe, stay humble and stay tuned. And I'll see you next week for another video. But I hope you enjoyed the day in the life of a inspiring natural bodybuilder. I will do a full day of eating coming up very soon. But yeah, see you guys later.